Barbara's arc is one of my favorites in the whole series so far. Thank you. So, Lorraine, did you know like early on that she was going to eventually take on this much darker role, or were you as surprised as the audience was to see that side of her? I mean, I think from the beginning there were signs. You know, she was she kind of had that spiral where she was you got sort of elements of drugs and alcohol abuse, and her relationship with Montoya was obviously very poor. So, I think I knew that she, I, I definitely knew that she was going to a darker place. I, I didn't know that she was going to murder her parents, so that was quite quite a big shot but I think such a fantastic development because it really released her into the world as like this kind of new dark being that is not kind of there's no there's nothing holding her back now she's killed a parent she's literally done the worst thing you can do so from then on out it's like fun times do you want her to have a redemption arc Maybe season three, season four, so you can have fun. Yeah, I think that would be nice. Yeah, I, I think that I think the fans sort of want her to have a baby with Jim at some point as their Batgirl comes out. So I I personally think that right now it's so much fun to play this this darkness and there's so much to explore inside that darkness. And also I'm really enjoying watching Jim and Leslie. Like I think that that relationship is a really strong one and a much better one for him right now than what Barbara was. So I think that I'm enjoying this dark element, but it's nice to see redemption. Um, I don't know how we would achieve it right now, um, but yeah, it is nice. It's, it's nice to have a happy ending after some darkness. Elaborate on your relationship this season. The two of us. Uh, well, it's basically what you've seen so yeah. far, and it's going to continue to uh, develop a little bit. Um, yeah, I think it, it's an interesting dynamic between the three of them. There's a lot of uh, manipulation going on between the three of them and a lot of jealousy. And, um, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm like, do you want to elaborate a little bit more? I'm in space for some reason. Um, yeah, I think that we, that within the, the, the threesome that we have, there's a lot of using each other, playing off each other, and sort of manipulating each other. So that will come into a bit more fruition as, as the series goes on and also I think that from Barbara's point of view she if you were to ask her which one she preferred I think she would say Tabitha you know I think the relationship with Galavan she's very much like yeah I get you so I think she's like uh, with Galavan it's like she knows who he, who he is she knows his weaknesses she'll use them and she would kill him immediately I think with Tabitha there's a bit more intrigue you know she's like what is this kind of especially if we're talking about her coming into this world as like a new being which I've been sort of playing is that she's been reborn as this new dark Barbara and then she's like oh what is this dark thing over here this naughty Tabitha like how can I kind of take things from her and also use her but then maybe learn and you know, I think there's a bit more respect there potentially than there is with the Galavan. So it's an interesting dynamic because then, you know, you guys have your own thing going on. Yeah. However, Tabitha feels about Barbara, you know, it's like yeah. you know, loads of different levels. Well, you have, well a, you have a leather whip mm -hmm. and a cat motif. Yeah. Is someone going to be inspired by that? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, what would ever make you think that? Um, uh, sure. There was there was a conscious thought put into her look and how it was going to relate to somebody else. Right. Very famous. Yeah. That was dumb. Kitty. Yeah, kitty cat. <laughs>